tonight on Unknown Oklahoma. <laughs> Aliens. It's a red hotline phone for the president. Right, right. Right. Pizza. Pizza, awesome. Hundreds of UFOs were sighted. try to answer one of the oldest questions that humanity has had. Yeah? Are we alone? Are we alone? <laughs> so alone. <laughs> you know, I worry about you sometimes. I know. I worry <laughs> about me too. <laughs> Off on another adventure of unknown Oklahoma. Yep. We're going to be looking for aliens, UFOs, all kinds of things. Uh, we're going to head down to Turner Falls. Uh, where we're going to explore the uh, Native American side of UFOs, uh, sky people. Uh, right, all that weird, kind of trippy ancient alien stuff. Right, right. If, if you haven't noticed, this guy's trying to look like George Oh, uh, Suclos, is that his name? <laughs> George Suclos. <laughs> Aliens. I'll work on it. I'll work on okay. it. Uh, and then uh, we're going to... Uh, head over to Wynwood. Wynwood is an area where uh, there was a year in Oklahoma where uh, there were multiple UFO sightings and the, they seem to be concentrated in this area around Wynwood, this small town Wynwood, Oklahoma. Yeah. So we're going to head out there. Almost, we're, almost an invasion. Almost an invasion. Uh, and uh, maybe do a little night shooting, see if we can't see some uh, something in the skies. Yeah. Uh, and then also we're going to stop into uh, the Action Figure Museum over in Paul's Valley, Oklahoma. Talk about, you know, aliens and pop culture, and, you know. Yeah, kind of how our popular depiction of them has changed over the years. Right, right. So, yeah. Hey, Liam. Yes. Do you know why the alien had to keep moving? For God's sake. So he God's wanted more space. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of that. We're at Turner Falls finally, as you can see behind me here. Right, right. Um, it's quite gorgeous. It is. It's a beautiful, beautiful place in Oklahoma. Uh, we're here because, like much of Oklahoma, this is Native American land. And Native Americans from the beginning of, of time have had stories recorded of sky people or aliens and flying shields or UFOs uh, but they've been a part of stories that have been passed on for for centuries in, right. in Native American lore so and they've recorded a lot of these on petroglyphs uh, petroglyphs are kind of like uh, they're rock carving uh, they're similar to kind of you know you see those cave paintings and they seem primitive they're not really very primitive it's way more complicated than we make it sound <laughs> uh, but a lot of evidence has been recorded of these strange things that they've carved that they've supposedly seen now they could be artistic license or it could be something a little bit more a little more mysterious right either way we're gonna go try to find some there's some caves around here so we're gonna explore a little bit see if we can't find some caves and, and some evidence of these petroglyphs exactly so uh, next time we see you in a cave so we think we found our first cave and caves are never located where you want them to be. No, it's never, uh, never like conveniently located. There's never like a, like a tram that goes up to them or a, you know, a, 
Yeah, no. Uh, Even like a mine cart. Yeah, a no, mine cart no. pulled by uh, some sort of donkey pulley system. Mule, something like that. Right. Right. Uh, no, no, no. This one, uh, according to what we've heard, uh, you go to like steep up there, and then there's a rope. And you kind of pull yourself into the cave. So. Should we be doing this? No. No. Are, are we, we going to do this? Oh my god, we're going to do this, aren't we? We're going to do this. So. Is it too late to opt out? Is it too late to opt out? Yes. Yes, it is. Yeah, anyway. Well, we'll see you either so. in the emergency room or the cave. We'll see which one we get to first. Okay. We'll, we'll see you in the cave. Emergency room. something yeah the actual cave and it looks pretty uh, pretty open in here this is called robber's cave for obvious reasons and <coughs> trouble with me not a serious place sorry about the shakiness of the camera here In terms of what I'm seeing on the thermal, right? It's way more just cold because it is colder in here. It is definitely cooler in here. So, right. it's an extremely roomy cave. I was just going to get shots of the ceiling really here, is. but there's also here. openings okay. to the outside. Right, which maybe artificial, but either way, it's cool. And there are caves like this that have different. Alright, we're here at the Troy and Oxford Museum in the Halls of Valley of Lima. And uh, just as a little thing, we'll be impacted on uh, our culture here. Star Trek to Star Wars, Plan 9 from Outer Space. It's all here, it's all influenced by, you know, UFOs and alien sightings. And, you know, those kind of stuff, yeah. It's, it's great. This fascination with uh, all this cultural, uh, all these different things that have been part of humanity since the beginning. Right. So, it's so only interesting we, we have, have a UFO warning system over here. I really don't think that works. <laughs> First of all, it's not real. Uh, it's a red hotline phone for the president. Right, right. We also have a you know, pizza. We have pizza also. Yeah, but just all around here is, you know, things from all corners of, of no-dum. So, it's just fascinating. Yeah. 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 In 1965, a UFO was sighted, and then over the next several months, hundreds of UFOs were sighted. Here and all around this area, the skies were lit up and, and reports uh, came in all over, from all over, saying that they had seen something in the sky. Right. Some specific reports. Uh, claim things rising out of the water, strange, unnatural occurrences, lights, all these different things that are pretty telltale signs of a UFO encounter. Right. And uh, possibly uh, aliens. 
We're not too far from Tinker Air Force Base here in Oklahoma. Right. And the reports were investigated by them. They claim there were no uh, experimental aircraft or weather balloons or anything like that in the area. So it is truly unexplained. To this day. Now, uh, being fully transparent here, we weren't exactly sure where this happened. Right. But we know it happened around this area and we have found a creepy ass park <laughs> uh, that we are currently sitting in on a broken down uh, bench here. And we're going to essentially look around here, look up in the sky, see right. what we can find. See what we can do, scan the skies, right. um, maybe do some thermal imaging just to see if there's any. Yeah, see what we can find. So. so. Just here doing a scan of the night sky. We are in kind of a lit area. Yeah, there's some light pollution. It's right. not exactly the best place, but we didn't want to be out in the middle of nowhere. Right, there's the moon. Yep, there's the moon. A lot of kind of common stars that get mistaken for the earth as well. One of the stars, these are planets. Venus does, uh, Polaris obviously, no star. But you know, the big, big lights they were talking about are really kind of bright. I've seen I've seen pictures right. where it's like, you know, it's a disc. It's an actual like disc yeah. of light. So it's not a disc of light. So I think so. Mm. So we kinda walk around here to see what we can see. Okay. UFO craze, Roswell happened a few years ago. Right. And everything, and you know, the military was investigating all these reports and everything. So you had a whole slew of people investigating this. They, you know, military, of course, came up with an official explanation. But, you know, to this day, it's something that remains on the phone. You see the pictures, it does not look like flares or, or anything, any of the common explanation. So, uh, I'm kind of scanning the sky here, looking for anything uh, heat signature wise. Now, the range of this camera is not very, uh, you know, <laughs> I can tell you, it's not very far. But again, if there's anything that you can see with the heat signature, you know, we'll see that. Now this is just an effect of the camera, or it's actually something, you know, strange, but I think it kind of makes some stuff out. Like that tree is warmer than the sky. You can make out the shape there. See, so the sky is just, you know, cold as hell. Yeah, it's cold. Very, very cold. I don't see anything out of the ordinary. But yeah, when I go down to the ground, it's like, oh, look. Well, it's 
start wrapping up here. See what we can do. Well, here we are, another random public bench. <laughs> uh, so, our investigation of UFOs and Oklahoma. Um, what do you think? What do I think about aliens or what do I think about the investigation? What do I think about the investigation? Okay, well, we'll, we'll go to that first. Um, I, I think it, I think it went well. Yeah. I feel like we did everything we could pretty much to right. try to determine these things, had a lot of fun. Had a lot way, of fun. Always good. <laughs> As always, we got to explore some areas of Oklahoma that we've never seen and, and see some spectacular scenery and, and all that. And that's, you know, that's a part of it too. Yeah, no, that's so, that's always good. Um, so, you know, our first stop, we were in uh, uh, right outside of Davis at Turner Falls. Right. Um, again, it, it, beautiful, beautiful area, and the cave was cool. Yeah. Did we find some petroglyphs? No. no. Are there petroglyphs that? represent sky people and flying shields and all that? Absolutely. Yeah. I just uh, don't personally at the moment want to hike across a desert uh, on the panhandle. Right. Uh, because that's what we would have to do because we did a little research uh, kind of post-mortem here. And uh, yeah, <laughs> we would have to right. hike across a desert. <laughs> right. At some point, we probably will, seeing us because we're crazy, but you know. Right. Um, this episode, not so much. No, 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 no. In, in Alien episode part two or whatever, you know, 30 years in the future. <laughs> I think we'll, uh, we'll do that. Yeah. Um, so then we went to uh, uh, Winwood. 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 Or, sorry. Sorry. Winniewood. Winniewood. That's how you're supposed to pronounce Winniewood, it. Winniewood, Oklahoma. Yes. Winniewood. Uh, I will look up this for the uh, phonetic pronunciation. It's Winniewood. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And we searched the skies for UFOs. So, yeah. Did we see any? No. We didn't. Um, but I could see how we could have. You, you know, know. Do I believe in 1965 and, and throughout that whole year that people had multiple sightings that couldn't be explained of things in the sky? Yeah. Um, absolutely, because there were, yeah. there were so many different types of people. That, right. that saw them. And, yeah, we, and we've, I've seen pictures. If I haven't shown you the picture yet, here it is now. And if I have, then you've already seen it and there was nothing. I just moved my hand away. Right. Again. <laughs> Point is, so, there are pictures right. of, of this weird craft up in the sky. Right. Uh, they're not from Win they're not from Winniewood, though. They're from Tulsa. Yeah, but it's the Again, same time period. It's the same thing, you know. It's the same UFO, pretty much. Right. So, um, and and okay, so Tinker Air Force Base, which is a prominent military base in Oklahoma. Right. They deny that anything's going on. And we did not go there because we don't want to get arrested. But but you know, but if there was a secret military operation going on, would they tell us? No, no, not really. No. No, I sense we're about to get into politics at some point here. Whatever. You. You. Yeah. So, um, we had fun. We, uh, Paul's Valley, um, the Action Figure Museum. I uh, enjoyed it a lot. It was a blast. It was fun. Because we're both nerds. Aliens. So it, you know, yeah. I know you one don't of us, want to admit it, one but of I us, do. One of us is absolutely a nerd. And, and it's you. Anyway, so uh, yes, Axe Trigger Museum was great. Fun. Uh, I mean, there's not really much else to say about it. We we appreciate that that exists, right? And that and thing, and that's kind of sustaining that town in terms of uh, culture and different things. And it's it's and it's it, well put together. And it absolutely is is that there are and have been for centuries aliens and UFOs in pop culture. Because right. it's in our culture, it's right. in the Native American culture. It's it's yeah. People see things, right? You know, you know, it's to you know, essentially people called them, you know, gods or spirits or whatever when they didn't really know what they were. Some didn't obviously. They were like, "This is weird." You know, it's flying chariot or something. You know? Right. Uh, but 
that's, you know, and it's just, it's a more evolution of that where we've gotten to more of a technological understanding of everything. So, it's really interesting. Um, yeah, and uh, that was, that was the trip. Yeah. Um, so, let's talk about, uh, talk about the real question at hand. Are we alone? Right now, we are. That's good. Right. Uh, no, are we alone? In this? Um, I'm going to give an answer that's been given by many others before me. Yes. The vastness of the universe is too great for us to be alone. Yeah. If the universe is infinite, then it's impossible for us to be alone. If it's not infinite, uh, then still. It's vast. Right. It is, at the very least, like 14.6 billion, 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 billion light years across. You know? Right. It's insanely massive. Like, it's it's not even comparable to the human mind how massive the universe is. Absolutely. It's ridiculous. Absolutely. So. And I think it's, I think it is restrictive and ignorant to think that there's nothing out there. That, you know, and if there is, then I think that's, that would almost be more groundbreaking than there being something out there. I agree. You know? I agree. Because the universe has been around for 14.6 billion years. That's a long ass time. So, you know, I doubt that we're the first life to evolve and we'll not be the first, you know? And of not course, the last. And not the last, exactly. Right. So, no, I, I agree. So I, I would say the answer is a, is a pretty educated, confident yes. Or no, I agree. no, we're not alone. I agree. Um, so then, the second question becomes: Have they visited here? Because that was kind of the thesis of the story, right? So um, that's kind of our. Again, I'm going to say yes. The likelihood of them being in Oklahoma and visiting Oklahoma. Is 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 to me as as possible as them existing. So I'm going to say probably not. Then. Okay. I I look at most things from kind of a scientific perspective. That's kind of how I live my life. That's a that's a you know it's kind of how I derive everything. But I say that. We kind of have to rule out every other explanation before we get to something as crazy as aliens. Now, if that's crazy, I definitely think they exist. And I guess if they're intelligent enough, you know, light speed travel. But if there's one, if there are two intelligent species in the galaxy, in the universe, why wouldn't there be a crap load of others? Why are we the most interesting? If, those, if the aliens are able to have these balls of light that they're in, or drones, or whatever, why would they be interested in a civilization that would be so beneath them? It'd be like if we were really fixated on a rock with uh, sunbathing lizards on it. Right. You know, so why would they be interested in us? Why would they be, why would they come here? You know? I don't know. That's that's kind of my perspective on it. I think it, it's it's always a possibility, though. Sure. If if we one day, dis, you know, when I want to say when when we discover one day an alien civilization out there in the universe, and we ask them, "Hey, have you visited Earth?" I think the answer would probably be no. But. It could always be a yes. It could always be a like, yeah, oh yeah, we've been here since the Stone Age. What? <laughs> so, um, it's just, with this, it's almost, it's kind of, there's so many possibilities right. that it's really hard to make a definite determination. And I think if you do, then you're bound to be wrong in some respect. Right. So, you know, I don't know, it could have happened. Could have. It could have happened. I, I do think it is more likely that most of the UFOs that we've seen are experimental military craft or weather phenomena or something like that. Because let's face it, everybody, this is where we get into some controversial stuff. Our government is hiding things from us. 
They're not conspiracy theorists, I do not believe in any conspiracy theories personally. I know you don't either. Right. Our government is definitely hiding stuff from us. Because they have to, or because it's exactly. not, you know. Because if the Because if we know, then other people know. Because of know. the American government, the, I'm talking the U.S. government. We are in the United States of America right now. Uh, we're not going to get into that. Uh, but we're in the United States of America right now. Our government is definitely hiding things from us. Definitely some military things. It may not be as crazy as like, oh, we have, you know, anti-gravity like sweet travel or whatever. It's not like friggin' Stargate. It's, you know, we actually have, you know, maybe it's like, oh, we have this uh, bomber that can conceal itself really well and makes no sound. You know, and doesn't have exhaust, or has has exhaust, but it's really, you know, that's always a possibility, you know? Absolutely. It's like, yeah, that probably exists. That's inside the realm of possibility. You know, there may be technologies they're hiding from us. Excuse me, while a motorcycle goes by. So, yeah. So, I think that it's almost more likely that it's a military craft. Okay. We just don't know about Because it. it's, you know, it's like, Okay. I think the birds also are something else. Because uh, we know, um, if you want to do this more recently than this, uh, that the whole deal with Area 51, which was one of those like big, oh, hiding aliens, and you know, there, there was that whole mean raid thing, whatever that right. was. Um, you know, that's been proven that that was kind of, that, that was a cover up, but not of UFOs, but of experimental military craft. And they put out the whole alien explanation so people wouldn't catch on to what they're actually doing. Right. You know? Right. So, it's... Okay. I just think that's more likely. Okay. So, but I think aliens definitely exist. I just don't think that they... They may very well have visited Earth. They may have visited Earth in the past. It would almost be more feasible to me if paleontologists you know, discovered pieces of metal in the, you know, in rock layers from the Cretaceous or something that are like, oh, these are not of this earth. These could be from alien craft kind of thing. Where they visited us, you know, they visited earth when the dinosaurs were around, you know, 125 million years ago. Right. That's not the Cretaceous, that's Jurassic. But, you know, point, <laughs> the point stands. So, um, so, has your opinion of that changed then since we've been since we did, did this investigation just to kind of end out my opinion of, of of whether aliens exist or whether we visited Oklahoma or whatever uh, just all of it no no you, you held the same opinion before this yes I would say I did too so yeah I would say our opinions have not changed I think we learned something we I think we definitely learned about history and culture and everything in Oklahoma right um but, I, I mean, I would like to, if we get another lead at some point that's like, oh, somebody's seen a UFO, you know, or somebody saw an alien walking around in the woods, you know, over at Chandler Park or something, yeah. then we'll go over there and we'll investigate you know, Then we'll investigate it because it's always a possibility. So it's, you know, it's, it's cool and crazy and, uh, yeah. So, all right. What do aliens eat all their meals off of? Flying saucers. Hey, you know what an alien's favorite candy bar is? Milky Way. Do you know what their second favorite is? Mars bar. You done? I'm good. I'm good. I had to get out. Uh, uh, by the way, the next episode. Just a plan. We usually do like a weird transition, but I'm thinking uh, this may be kind of our season ender for the moment. Yeah. We have three episode seasons because, you know, we're lazy. Because oh, this takes a lot of work to do. Yeah. Um, next episode will probably be Super Copy, I'm thinking. No, so four Chupacabra. will be uh, Chupacabra. So we're going back into the woods looking for uh, something, but this one could actually, uh, you know, actually kill things and people. Right. So that's fun. Uh, but yeah, so it seems like a fun thing to do. And that is kind of connected to aliens in some respect, too. Possibly. At some points. So, uh, so uh, hope you enjoyed season one. 
Absolutely. Uh, we'll be back at some point soon, I'm sure. And uh, hey, make sure you like these videos and yeah, we enjoy your comments. Yeah, even when you don't enjoy ours. <laughs> yes, exactly. All right. See you next time. See you next time.